Good morning, guys. I'm back. Took the day off from vlogging yesterday. Dietra was all about it. Today we've reversed roles because she's not down. And I'm back to normal, I guess. I don't know. Basically, we're just getting ready to go today. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm up here doing something weird. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah, so we're just packing up and getting ready to go. We're, we're actually going to leave tomorrow, so... I actually found more storage today under the kids' bed. No, no! No, no! No, no, no! Watch out, Moish! So you basically just take the cushions off, and this is on both sides of the bed. Boom. So we got kids' toys, we got the tool chest, other tools kids helmet so yeah and then the other side has more storage as well so we got other stuff in there I don't even remember what I put in there already I already forgot but some of the stuff that was in that utility closet so I, I think I have like an extension cord and just a couple other things um, in there so we're still trying to figure out the situation with what we're gonna do as far as power off the grid if we're gonna go solar or not and how we're even going to do that. We don't have an address now. We're basically homeless. Um, yeah, we're homeless. So we don't have an address. So we either have to go with um, Walmart or Amazon, possibly if we can find an Amazon locker, but we're going to LA. So we should be able to find an Amazon locker somewhere. So those are our two options basically for solar. And it seems like those are the cheapest and the best options for just a mini rig like us. Um, and then other than that, we're planning on leaving tomorrow. We're going to leave from here and go to, um, Monterey Bay area. Not really sure where exactly, but we're just going to head towards there and see what happens. And we're going to pray about it tonight and tomorrow morning. See what, see what God wants us to do. So yeah, that's the update. We're going tomorrow. We're leaving tomorrow. I don't know what time yet, but we're going to go to Monterey Bay area and... Yeah, and then we're gonna mosey our way down to LA, like probably go to Big Sur the next day is what we're thinking. And then I think I wanna stop in like Pismo Beach, Morro Bay area, I've never been there really. So um, just do that kind of California coast trip that we probably won't ever get to do again once we get to Israel. So that's the plan. We're not uh, in a hurry to get down to Pasadena. I don't know, I've never heard of somebody in a hurry to get to Pasadena. <laughs> so it's a beautiful day right now it's like 65 degrees or something nice and sunny as you can see it's been kind of chilly this whole time we've been here you know it's winter but pretty much from here on out it's gonna be pretty warm for our people like us coming from Reno where there's snow and all that stuff I didn't even know what winter was growing up never heard of it what do you think Excited to go to the beach? Rough. Rough? You gonna see doggies? 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 Can you blow kisses? Can you say I like you? I like you! <laughs>
I feel like I have to share this because this is something that I'm going to be doing and it might look a little bit strange if you see me now versus like what you'll see me in four months. Being honest with you guys, showing you the emotions, showing you the, you know, the trailer, like th this is opening up our lives in a way that is like unbelievably transparent and like just so you know there's nothing like planned like we're not planning anything um this is just day to day I mean it's kind of like it's just our journal and um just every single day waking up and seeing what God is doing so last night my dad and I made a bet that whoever could get closest to their BMI um for you know height their appropriate weight for their height um, would win a, an amazing bet. I'm not going to talk about what the what the bet is, but we made it painful for each other if we lost. So <laughs> we made it painful, so that you know there'd be incentive every single day to wake up and just get healthy. And like I'm not saying that I've let myself go at all, but kind of have let myself go after that second baby and like I feel like God has been doing a lot of work in this area of my life of just like how I see myself and the love that I have for myself so like this was a necessary thing for me to like kind of just like not really focus on my body for a really long time and just let him enter into those places and just like kind of wipe it clean and you know restore self-love in a way that it didn't matter what I looked like um it didn't matter how much I weighed like literally I don't I really do not care how much I weigh um I have not weighed myself in gosh like seven years it's been so long and since kids like your body changes and you got to be kind to yourself, right? You got to be kind to yourself because it's all of a sudden you, it's literally, it feels like it's overnight. You wake up and your body is just not the body that you're used to or that you, um, you know, had for the majority of your life. So that's new. This is a new thing. And I'm trying to give myself grace because I'm a new mom and fairly new mom. And you know, we've got to love our bodies for the way that God designed them. And I have been struggling with that so hard. So this is like, this is real honest with you guys. And I'm just going to share it and trust that God's using it. I try not to let myself get so carried away that like I I'm vain about it. Like, oh, I need to look a certain way so that like people are attracted to me. I actually hate that. I need to look a certain way because I want to think that I look good. While that's good and valid, like that's still not even scratching the surface of God's love for us. So like, or how God sees our bodies. And like in Psalms, David writes, um, we are fearfully and wonderfully made because God knitted us together in our mother's womb. Like we are fearfully and wonderfully made. And while that's also like, a spiritual aspect like there's a lot of physicality in that too and that's been something that God's been showing me over the last couple of years I want to build physical endurance that is spiritually sound if that makes any sense so like I uh, in this sense the way that I'm looking about Building this physical endurance is actually spiritual endurance because I'm going to be able to walk farther for him. Like literally, we like when we move to Israel, we are we won't have a car like for a long time. I'm sure we won't have a car. We're going to be walking lots of places. Even now, like we're in a trailer, we're going to be walking everywhere um, like Jesus walked everywhere. Like if we're called to be foot soldiers like Jesus was, then like we need to have long physical like strength and endurance like God loves us no matter what we look like but also we need to be striving for the things that he's called us to well all right all right so I'm gonna pray 
Heavenly Father, I just come before you, Lord. I know that I have not been loving myself the way that you love me, Lord, and I just want you to help me love me like you love me, God, like you do. I want to see myself like you see me. I want to um, take care of myself like you take care of me, God. And Lord, I just need you to help me. God, my body has been so wrecked from the pain and the stress that I've been through up until this time, all the bitterness and anger that I've been holding on to, that I've been struggling with, all the unforgiveness that I've been struggling with, Lord, I just lay it at your feet. I lay it at Jesus' feet in Jesus' name. Lord, I know that my vessel, my temple is like, is, um, is a representation, Lord, of all of the things that I've been through, God, and I just want to bring bring all that I am before you and I want you to search me search the depths of me God and just bring out what you want me to see and how you want me to take care of myself God and um, Lord help me build muscle for you help me lose weight for you help me just um, be strong for you God physically and like Lord I ask that that my mind would not wander into the vanity of this it's so it's such a slippery slope and that's been some something that I'm worried about is just like um like focusing on losing weight God I've been so nervous about focusing on it because I don't want to slip into vanity God I just ask that you would protect me from slipping into vanity Lord I ask that you would just um Fill me with your spirit and guide me with your spirit of the ways that you want me to take care of myself and lose weight so that it would be building my temple for you, God, so that you could do more, so that I could walk the extra mile for you, the extra five or ten miles for you, God, um, so that there would be a spiritual endurance deep inside my soul that would also reflect on the outside, God, just for you. In Jesus' name, I ask these things. Amen. All right, guys, I'm about to go to sleep here, so I just want to sign off the vlog for the night. Um, and the plan tomorrow, I guess, is to leave here from Nevada City and head west towards uh, Monterey Bay. We don't really know where exactly yet or when or if we're going to Monterey even, so we don't really know what's going on yet. We're going to uh, wake up and early and pray tomorrow, Deetra and I. Um, right at sunrise and we're just gonna kind of ask for God's guidance for tomorrow um, I'm 99% sure we're leaving though tomorrow so um, the vlog will be a little less frequent um, we won't be uploading every day because we won't have internet on the road so my goal is to edit every couple days or so and kind of find a cafe or whatever and upload on the way down the coast other than that, I'm just going to edit, go to sleep, and we'll see you guys next time.